I'll be reading from my new work about the evil Dr. Shitfuck Piss. Chapter 1. How the fuck could a great long friendship start with one man's testicles, the painful size of a grapefruit? Many folks will ask. Well, my other testicle was its normal, innocent size of a U.S. grade A egg, but its twin had an extremely painful infection. I had to find a doctor who took indigent, low-life new patients with no fucking money. Nothing for him to chisel out of me with any form of quackery at all, and I could only hope that he did well by his uh, practice. If so, he would cure my inflamed and painful testicle. I was fortunate to stumble by chance into the good doctor's storefront surgery. It took about 45 minutes of legwork to find such a place. And it appeared right away that the great doctor shit puck fuck piss took a shine to me. I was at the time at least 30% less decrepit than most of his patients. Most had this hopeful, well-preserved sort of look. Like they would be dead one way or the other without the help of Dr. Shitfuck Piss. I was to learn that Dr. Shitfuck Piss had assisted in birthing Empress Cornhola. An easy birth. There was loud music to cover up the screaming. People passed joints. This was a very different relationship than the one between myself and the doctor. How can you compare groping a man's balls to reaching up royal snatch? Empress Assholer, mother of Cornhola, was beholden to Dr. Shitfuckpiss. If he was a sort of schizo-loyalist, well, he may have been trading drugs with the women. Then, too, a man has carnality to bingle along in front of him, like a wheelbarrow of base, sweating lust. Bearing wasted words on the examination I received, he groped, grunted, grimaced, then smirked. Feel that? he asked, looking up, very amused. It hurt only enough to sell me the fact that he had located the infection. That's the epidemis, he boasted. Happy, workmanly, thumb and forefinger, operating the inflamed mass in my nut bag. And he treated my nad all to good effect, reaching into a brown paper bag of physician samples, as if collected by trick-or-treating at hospitals or perhaps stolen from people's medicine cabinets. Don't care, didn't care then, don't care now. By gracious, the fucking pills worked. Was there some magic in the metaphor? like pills in a bag for balls in a sack. That inflamed epidemis brought us together. You'd like a guy too if your privates were burning and Dr. Shitfuckpiss cured you of pain.